Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing something with you that I find to be very, very, uh, how can I put this? It's very worrying to hear a man speak the way that this man is speaking. Uh, you're going to hear some of the things that he is saying and I believe that is very dangerous. What this black man is telling other black men to do is very dangerous. Your very life is at stake. And uh, there's going to be a point that's brought up uh, by the white podcaster that is going to point exactly to that. The fact that your life could literally be on the line. Uh, but this guy, he just kind of paused for a moment, listened to what he said. And instead of addressing what the guy said, he went on to deflect in a whole other direction. As if to say, uh, I'm not worried about that, right? This is not cool at all. Anyway, I want you all to take a listen at this conversation. It is a very, very interesting conversation. Keep in mind that some words have been uh, bleeped out, okay? What I will do is I'll kind of fill you in um, on parts of the conversation that were bleeped out so that you can know exactly what's going on. Um, anyway, take a listen and I will be right back. I like white women. Oh, nice. All right. Yeah, that's what, like, like, I date white girls. Like, them the girls I kind of, like, aim for. You know Interesting. Saying? So does my man right there, Jail. He ain't looking at you, but he, you could tell he got the no, the one that came up here, my boy Jail, he, he likes white girls. This is something I haven't really realized you know until, man? like, the last few months, but, like, yeah. It says so much about a black dude if he's the type of dude who will only date black women or yeah. if he's the type of dude who only dates white women. You can be more of a normal guy if you're in the middle, but, like, usually if there, if you're one or the other – Creates a very interesting portrait Listen, I'm of who trying you to get, are. I'm trying to get more of my brothers on white women. Shout out to my brother. My, <laughs> shout out to my brother G Flirt. Shout out to my brother G Flirt. He needs to get with the white girls. He's a tall dude like me, handsome, carry yourself well. I say, bro, you you know you a lover boy. I know you be trying to wipe these girls, bro. Try a white girl. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, bro, just give a white girl a chance. He gives he date all these black girls. Is like, not saying black women ain't with the wave is, but it's like, bro. Try a white girl. You might might be something you might. Okay, but with. check this. This is why you got to be careful. Lena, my girl, used to be friends with this white girl, right? Hot ass OnlyFans girl or whatever. Starts dating some black dude. They go on vacation together. She gets drunk as fuck. They get in a huge argument. Bitch grabs a knife, kills him. What? Swear to God. Yeah, that yeah, we yeah. Was it was about, huge in the news. Yeah, imagine having that. to say "rest in peace" so and so, knowing that a little. Blonde girl killed him. That's gotta hurt. But you gotta black, go kill a random black, blonde girl. You gotta black, go with the growth. No, black black women are black men differently. They do. You know what I'm saying, whether <laughs> I mean, yeah, like yeah, like it's. Uh, you know I what don't, I'm saying? Like, don't Andrew Schultz me. I do not believe that. I was just like, kidding. Yeah, like, we, we get in different ways. We might might like, get with a wife like that, but we get off in child support. Mm. We get off in like, bro, like, yeah, come on, man. Like, bro, we can off in major way. I, I, I like, I'm going to be real with you. Like, I like white women. Like, I date white girls. Like, I'm in Denver and I'm I'm right where the white girls are at. So, I like white women. That's probably not easy to find a black woman in Denver. I'm gonna yeah, be, no, they're, they're, they're out there. They're bro. out there. They're okay. out there. But I, I, I'm six foot nine. I'm like, I carry myself like white girls. I don't have a problem with getting white girls. Like, it's like they throw them over your shoulder and march I, out of the. I, <laughs> like, 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 straight up. I got, I got a white girl tatted on me right here. Her name is Marta. Marta. Yeah. yeah. What's her, her family is, uh, owns? What? Diesel jeans. Shout out to Marta. Diesel. Her family owns Diesel jeans. Her dad. You know what I'm saying? Marta. She yeah, Marta. Know what's up? She touched. This is a white girl tatted on my hands. I love white girls, bro. I'm not just saying I like white girls, bro. I got a white girl, a white woman tatted on my hands right here. Mm. Yeah, bro. I like white girls. I like white women. So as I listen to this, this sounds like the conversation was purely about, um, you know, SEX, right? It didn't sound like dude was um, talking about their values um, as women or their 
um, motherhood or anything like that. It sounds like it was purely S-E-X, right? So he's teaching or telling brothers, he's encouraging them to go out here and be sinful and lustful and all of that, right? Now, even when presented with a story or a scenario that really did happen, it was, it was big in the news where this OnlyFans chick um, she was dating a, a black dude as well who only preferred uh, her kind and he ended up taking she, I'm sorry she ended up taking his life she ended up taking his life so the podcaster tried to share that story with dude with the black guy and he wasn't trying to hear that at all uh, he, com he completely shifted the story and the focus somewhere else he shifted it to black women now the parts that you weren't hearing, you know, as the black, as the white guy was explaining to him uh, what happened to this black guy who only wanted to date in that direction, he was explaining to him, well, what do you think about the fact that this woman um, took a knife and ended him? He just paused for a moment and he went to what black women are doing or what he claims black women are doing. And so some of the words that you didn't hear, they were bleeping out. He was saying that black women are using child support to undo black men or delete black men. In other words, uh, he considers child support to be a, fir a form of r deleting or red rum. So here we, you have a guy who gave you a real scenario of someone was, you know, deleted off of the planet. But you're comparison to a black woman getting child support you feel that that's equal because you don't want to support the child that you helped to create so the the comparisons were just whack this guy is all about sex and he's telling brothers he's saying this is hey brothers y'all need to y'all need to do this he said that's all he does that's all he dates that's what he prefers right now, one thing that I noticed, too, that I thought was ridiculous, which shows you, the Bible tells you that the love of money is the root of all evil. So he obviously has money himself, right? But when he said the, the young lady that he, one of the young ladies that he dates, her father owns such and such. And it's like, it doesn't matter what her father owns. You won't have access to that. They are not laying up their wealth for you, dude. So even to mention what this young woman's father has was idiotic. If anything, they want your wealth to be transferred to their family. And so that's what makes this such an ignorant conversation on the part of that so-called black man to think that he's going to have access to her family's wealth. That's so ignorant. That's not the way it goes. If anything, they will get access to yours. Right, so this is not cool uh, to be dangling this in front of black men. Uh, this helps to destroy the black family structure. This helps to destroy the black family structure. The way it's framed up now, if you just prefer to do this and you don't care about uh, biblical mandates and things like that, don't in turn make it seem like black women are just so terrible that they are just after child support, this, that, and the third. Many times, black women want a family. They want to settle down and be married. They, that's what they want many times. And I'm not saying that's all of the time. Of course, there are some black women out here who are playing games. But what I'm talking about, don't make it seem as though having a child and all of this stuff is like red rum, like the death of a man. My thing is this. If you don't want children, keep it in your pants. That's the way I look at it. It trips me out the number of men who complain about children, having children, but they're out here going from slit to slit. And it's like, don't do that. If you do what the Bible says do, which is don't touch a woman if you are not married to her, don't commit fornication, then you won't have these problems. But it's unfortunate, it's unfortunate that a lot of dudes like him are actually um, having this kind of conversation like it's some type of um, um, fantasy land that you're going to enter into. Forget about consequences. Forget about biblical law. 
Forget about um, destroying the black family structure. Forget about uh, furthering um, your tribe, right? It's getting to the point where a lot of our people just don't care about that. They don't care if the black family completely disappears and vanishes from the earth. They literally don't. And this is why someone like him would encourage, would encourage more black men to go out here and ex explore uh, sexual exploits. I'm, I'm just going to call it what it is because he's not talking about marrying anyone. He just wants to date and do whatever. This is all about lustful desire. This is all about fetish. And even when a white man sits here and tells you, well, what about this scenario? Where she got with one of you guys and turned your lights out. He completely didn't want to discuss that or talk about it or anything. He right away deflected to black women and child support being almost like the equivalent. That's a false equivalent to compare having to pay child support with someone taking someone's life. That is pure ignorance. This is why the, the this guy, I can tell the podcaster brought that up because they see what's going on. They see it. And um, to them, it probably sounds very foolish. Sounds very foolish. Now, I know a lot of guys aren't going to like me saying these things, but you all know that over here, I believe what the Bible says. I believe that um, we are to follow our biblical mandates concerning our tribes. Um, hey, it's a biblical mandate. This means it's mandatory. And so many people just don't care. They establish their own righteousness, as the Bible says, especially among the men of Judah. They establish their own righteousness and they create these false narratives to try to justify it. But in my opinion, this guy right here, this guy right here, <clears throat> he gave you a deflective answer when presented with some facts about what, what, what it can be like on the other side. But, uh, but he also made it very well known his reasoning his reasoning for liking what he likes oh my goodness you can tell just from his language that it is fetish it is a fetish and it is sexual that was very clear to me he didn't sound like he was out here trying to uh, search around for a wife but he's searching around for people that he can date and trust and believe that these guys are not going out here dating someone, taking them out for a steak dinner, and then dropping them back off at home and saying, good night, my lovely. <laughs> trust and believe that's not what's happening. Anyway, anyway, I am done with this. Um, we are seeing more and more to where we just don't care about our family structures. We don't care about the building up of our communities. Um, folk are out here follying around, playing around, playing sexual games, just doing all kinds of things and um, just bringing justification to it, lighting the internet up with their foolishness. It reminds me of what the scripture says when it says, in the last days perilous times shall come. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go there real quick. I want you all to hear um, how the Most High views these things, okay? This is really a trip. Now, all of the times that I've heard this scripture as a Christian, it never jumped out at me as it did um, a couple of years ago. <clears throat> it says in 2 Timothy, the third chapter, it says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures, more than lovers of the Most High, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such turn away, for of this sort are they which creep into houses, and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away by diverse lust, 
ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now as Janus and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith, but they shall proceed no further for their folly shall be made manifest unto all men as was Janice and Jambres. So the folly of our men has been made manifest unto everybody. The folly of our men has been made manifest. Everyone can see it. Jump, jumps out like a sore thumb. That folly. Everyone can see it. And so this is why you have our men thinking that the grass is greener on the other side. They create the problems in their own communities, right? Talking about all these single moms as if these single moms made the babies by themselves. And they're trying to make it seem like a, a two dozen men are the ones who have created all these babies all over the country. And they know good and cotton picking well that many of them who are screaming and hollering about single mothers have had a child with a woman that they were not married to. The utter hypocrisy of that, that line of thinking is off the chain. And this is why the Most High has sent down judgment into the so-called black community. He has, y'all. And this is a fair warning that you all had better repent because the Most High, he has said he is going to purge out the rebels from among us. You cannot continue to lie and manipulate the situation and further the enemy's kingdom and make up fairy tales about why the black community is the way that it is. The black community is the way that it is because the head is out of order. Just like the Bible said, it said the head is sick and the whole body is sick because of it. Women were not appointed as the heads over our community. Men have got to reclaim their rightful headship according to biblical standards. Because as long as you have men like this out here saying, I'm going to tell as many black men as they can, they better start doing this. They better start dating this one or dating that one. You are a part of the problem as to why um, our people are being judged by the Most High. This is an offense that you must repent of because we are supposed to be doing what thus saith the Most High. Of course, I can go further and further and longer and longer on this topic, but I'm going to stop it right here. And, you know, of course, from time to time we revisit this because our people don't know what's at stake. They don't realize and know that the Most High is judging our people for this type of thing because of all this fornication and lollygagging out here going from woman to woman, going outside of your tribes, uh, thinking and promoting your idea that the grass is greener on the other side and causing other men to fall into that, that simpleton trap as well. Like the Bible says, your folly and your foolishness will be made manifest unto the whole world. Anyway, I'm done with this. Um, leave your comments in the comment section below. As always, keep it tight and keep it right. But until the next live or the next video, stay prayed up. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.